Hey there, fifth grade cellos. Here is a lesson video for the song Short and Bread that was in your music packet that Mrs. Schmidt sent to you guys. Uh, this was in that first take home packet when schools first closed. Uh, so if you didn't get it or you lost it um, or something got misplaced, please just email Mrs. Schmidt or myself and we will definitely send you another copy. Uh, so again, we're gonna do the song Short and Bread that's in there. And actually the first thing I want you to do before you even pick up your cello is take your pencil and I'd like you to number the lines. So as you can see right here, I put under next to line one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this song is well laid out where we can just talk about lines of music instead of individual measures. Let's go ahead and do that for a sec. Pause this video if you need to. Number your lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so once you're ready, uh, this might look like a ton of music. You're like, oh my gosh, I've never played so many notes in one song in my life. This song is super, super easy because it basically has two lines of music, two mo uh, melody lines, and then they just repeat each other um, over and over. So we're going to start with line one, of course, right at the very beginning. Uh, and our very first note, easy open D, right? Our next finger, our B, first finger on the A string, you can have that down and ready to go right away for the two notes that come after it. So if you have gotten to this point in your book, you might know that those two Bs, they have a bar connecting them, That's uh, those are two eighth notes. If you haven't learned eighth notes yet, don't worry about it. Just think of the rhythm blueberry. That's exactly how you play those first three notes. So you're going to go blueberry. So a D and two short Bs. All right, after that, just lift up your first finger, play an open A, then put it down for one more B. And when you put it all together, it makes the rhythm blueberry muffin. And it'll sound like this. Okay, so try that with me a couple times. Here we go, ready, and. the video, do that as many times as you need to. And then in measure two, it's exactly the same notes, but we're taking the berry out of those uh, with the two Bs and making it just one B. So in all quarter note speed, we're going to go D, B, A, back to B. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so let's try those first two measures without stopping. So here's your open D. Ready, beginning. Okay, so again, play that as many times as you need to until you're comfortable. Measure three is exactly the same as measure one, so we don't need to do that one. It's the same blueberry muffin. And then the last measure, we're just going to go over to our F sharp, three on the D string, and go down three notes. We're going to go F sharp, E first finger, open D. All right, so let's try that one more time together. F sharp. And that's line one. So play each of those measures as many times as you need to. And when you're ready, come back to this video, and now let's do the whole first line without stopping. All right, so here we go. Have your first finger B ready to go. We're going to start on open D, though. And here is line one. One, two, and ready, play. can't play that. I still am struggling with certain parts. Remember the techniques we've learned in class. Break things down to smaller pieces. It's called chunking. So take just a couple notes at a time, maybe two notes, three notes, um, until you can get it right. So for example, you might be struggling at the end of that line with going from your B to your F sharp, because that's kind of a big jump. So just try those two notes a couple times. Here's your B, then F sharp. Because you're string crossing, you're changing from the A string to the D string, and you're also adding fingers. That can be kind of tricky. So do that a couple times until you feel ready. 
Then maybe go back one note further. Go to your A. Until you can do that whole section. Okay, after you've done line one, take a look at this. Here's what I was talking about. Line two is exactly the same. Line five is exactly the same. Line six is exactly the same. So the first two lines of the song are the same as the second two lines of the song. That's how much music you already know now. All right, so we have one other line to learn. We're gonna do line three, and we're gonna be on the A string here, starting on our high D, so four fingers. Let's give that a try. So here's line three, start on high D. Skip down to your B first finger, and then lift up to open A. So again, those notes were high D, B first finger, open A. Now if you look at the rhythm in this measure, we have quarter note, quarter note, and then remember that empty note is called a half note. So a half note is worth two beats. So you're gonna to have to use a long bow and hold that for two counts. One, two, right? So let's try that measure with the right rhythm now and careful to count two beats during your half note. Ready, set, here we go. One, two, or you could think long bow any way you want to. All right, so that's measure one of line three. Measure two, it's exactly the same as the first measure. So you just do that measure two times in a row. Let's try it. So again, careful to count to two beats for your half note. Here's line three, the first two measures. Ready, play. One, two. One, two. All right, next measure. It starts off exactly like the beginning. You have, or the beginning of this line, you've got your high D, B, A. Those notes are the same. But now we're going to go over to the D string and just go down a D scale. G, F sharp, E, open D. Right, so again, it starts off the same. But then go over to the D string. So again, play that as many times as you need to. One thing that'll help also, during those open A's, during those half notes, remember that you're gonna be returning to your high D. So that's where you'll use that set position. That's when you put all your fingers down at the same time, just boom, onto the fingerboard, so you're ready for your high D. So one way you could chunk this line is just playing your open A and then high D a couple times. <laughs> Alright, so after you've practiced that up by yourself a few times, let's try that whole line without stopping. So here's line three, starting on high D. Ready? One, two, ready, play. One, two. One, two. Rest. Alright. So once that line's done, line four is exactly the same. So line three and four, sorry, that's my cat Oliver. He doesn't like music. Uh, so line three and four are exactly the same. Uh, and now you know all of short and bread. So if you can do line one and you can do line three, you can do this whole song. So play that again as many times as you need to, one measure at a time, one line at a time. And when you're ready, come back to this video and now we're gonna play the whole song from the beginning to the end without stopping. All right, here we go. I'm gonna call out the line numbers in case you get lost along the way. Again, we're gonna set up our B first finger, even though we're starting on open D, so that note is ready to go. The first measure, blueberry muffin for our rhythm. And here we go, you guys. One, two, and ready, play.
That's a big accomplishment. Very nice. All right. So again, if you have any problems, any questions, whether it's with your music or something's wrong with your instrument, uh, please don't hesitate to email or call Mrs. Schmidt or I, and we'll help you any way we can.